When solving a literal equation or a formula for a variable that involves fractions, we can follow some of the same patterns we saw with fractions before. So before we solve this problem, h equals 2m over n for m, let's solve a similar problem, 5 equals 2x over 7, solving for x. In the past, when we solved problems like this, we multiplied by the least common denominator on every term. In this case, it would be 7, so we would multiply both sides by 7 so that the fractions would divide out completely, and we would have 35 equals 2x. We could then finish solving by dividing both sides by 2 to get x is equal to this fraction, 35 halves. With fractions, we can follow much the same pattern, even if there are fewer numbers. Again, we will identify the least common denominator of this problem. As the only denominator we have is n, the least common denominator must be n, and we will multiply it on both sides of the equation by every term. Notice again, we've got n over n dividing out completely, and we've got hn, just putting them in alphabetical order, equals 2m. And now we've gotten rid of the fraction, so we're able to isolate the variable we want, m, get it alone by dividing by what's with it. Dividing both sides by 2 gets the m alone. What we're looking for is equal to this fraction, hn over 2. Similarly, if the problem were to get a little more complicated, we can follow the same process to get rid of all of our fractions by multiplying by the least common denominator. In this problem, the only denominator is b, and so we will multiply everything by the least common denominator, b, on both sides. Notice we multiply every term, including the ones that are not fractions, the e on the right side. As we do this, the b's divide out on the left side, and we have a plus c, and on the right side, we have b e. This problem's asking us to solve for a. To get the a alone, we simply need to get rid of the rest of the stuff, get rid of the positive c with a negative c on both sides. This is because a positive c and a negative c will subtract out to 0, and we have the a alone, and because they're not like terms, we can't combine them, so we write b e minus c. Solving formulas with fractions is very similar to solving equations with fractions. Clear the fractions with the least common denominator, and then isolate the variable we're looking for by getting rid of everything else on that side of the equation.